If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, find the first four terms of the Maclaurin series of f of x equals natural log of cosine of x. And this question was requested by friend of the program, Faith C. Smash that like button and let's get started. So to find the first four terms of the Maclaurin series of natural log of cosine of x, something we should note is that the derivative of natural log of cosine of x is 1 over cosine of x times negative sine of x, which is equal to negative tangent of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the Maclaurin series for tangent of x and then evaluate its integral, and that will give us the Maclaurin series for ln of cosine of x. Now tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. Sine of x, we know the Maclaurin series is x minus 1 sixth x to the third plus 1 120th x to the fifth minus 1 over 50 40 x to the seventh plus some other terms. Cosine of x is equal to a 1 minus 1 half x squared plus 1 24th x to the 4th minus 1 over 7 20 x to the 6th plus some higher terms. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do long division with these power series to find the Maclaurin series of tangent of x. Okay, and long division with power series is very similar to long division with polynomials. Okay, so first we write out the Maclaurin series for cosine, and we're dividing sine by cosine, so sine's gonna be on the inside. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask, how many times does the lowest term of cosine go into the lowest term of the remainder? So for this first term, how many times does one go into x? Well, it goes in x many times. Okay, and then we take x and we multiply it to each term in our Maclaurin series for cosine. And then we're going to subtract the top row, or the second row from the top row. And when we do that, we get one third x to the third minus one thirtieth x to the fifth plus one eight hundred and fortieth x to the seventh. Uh, plus more terms. I should put a plus dot 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 again. And now we'll check again. How many times does one go into one third x to the third? It's one third x to the third many times. So now we'll take one third x to the third, multiply it to each term in the Maclaurin series of cosine, and then we'll subtract them off again. And we're going to continue this until we get four terms. Again, I should be writing out that there's higher power terms, but I, I just, I missed that. When we take the difference, we get 2 fifteenths x to the fifth minus 4 three x to the seventh. Now let's ask how many times does 1 go into 2 fifteenths x to the fifth? That's 2 fifteenths x to the fifth many times. Since our leading term of cosine of x is 1, we're just going to be basically reading off those first terms each time down the line. Okay, so now we multiply 2 fifteenths x to the fifth to each term in our cosine, uh, our expansion of cosine of x, and subtract them off again. And we're left with 17 315ths x to the seventh plus some higher terms. And again, how many times does 1 go into three, uh, 17 
315th x to the seventh. Well, that's 17 315th x to the seventh. Okay, so this is our Maclaurin series for tangent of x. We know that the natural log of cosine of x is the integral of negative tangent of x. Or another way to say that is negative the integral of tangent of x. So we're just going to have to evaluate the integral of this Maclaurin series or the first four terms of the Maclaurin series for tangent of x. Another way we could have done this problem is just take a bunch of derivatives of natural log of cosine of x and just find the terms that are not zero when you evaluate at zero, but that's actually pretty messy. So when we evaluate each of these integrals, we get negative x squared over two minus one twelfth x to the fourth minus two x to the sixth over 90 minus 17 x to the eighth over 2520 minus higher level terms. But these are the first four. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.